Let us understand the internet as a network infrastructure for e-commerce. As part of this, let us understand what a network is. A network is nothing but an interconnection between two or more devices. Such devices may be computers, printers, scanners and other such devices. So, a network is nothing but an interconnection between two or more devices or systems. And there may be either physical connection or logical connection. For example, a mobile phone may be connected to the, uh, the desktop or laptop using data cable. Because there lies a data cable between mobile phone and the laptop or desktop, there exists a wired connectivity. Similarly, if the mobile phone is connected with Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, then it is said to be a wireless connectivity. So, the devices may have either wired connectivity or wireless connectivity. But then, what is the advantage of a network? Suppose that there are n number of systems, especially standalone systems. Suppose that all these are standalone systems. And if we want to take a printout, when there are n number of systems, we need to have n number of printers or else the printer is to be moved from one system to another system. To overcome these problems, we can go for a network. If we see here, all the systems are interconnected, whereby forming a network, then with one single printer, people can get the hard copy from any one of the systems. This is what is known as resource sharing. That is the biggest advantage of a network. So, network is nothing but an interconnection between two or more systems. And all such devices may be computers or printers or scanners or mobile phones or other such devices. Now, let us proceed to the internet. What does it mean, the internet? The internet is nothing but a worldwide network that connects all the devices, computers, networks across the globe. It is considered as a network of networks. That is, millions of personal, private, public and academic networks across the globe are connected together. For example, here there is a network. If several such networks are connected like this across the globe, then we can call it as, a, as the internet. So, internet is nothing but a network of networks, millions of networks interconnected across the globe. Now let us understand how this internet can act as a network infrastructure for e-commerce. So it consists of various components like app for e-commerce, the internet, web server, app server and payment manager. Let us understand all these things one by one. If we look at current trends in e-commerce, there is an increase in mobile shopping, generally referred to as M-commerce, stands for mobile commerce. Earlier, people used desktops or laptops to place the orders on e-commerce websites. However, nowadays, almost all the online sellers are providing apps which work on mobile 
devices such customized apps run very smoothly on different mobile devices so the summary is the current trend is m commerce mobile commerce that is the reason why all the e-commerce service providers or online sellers are providing the apps here i am showing just for example purpose only not for any promotion uh, here i am showing the screenshots of apps of uh, different online sellers like flipkart or geomart or amazon so all these people are having apps so app for e-commerce so certainly one app is required for conducting an e-commerce so people around the world can access the online seller using e-commerce website however nowadays people are using mobile phones in order to place the orders and this concept is known as m commerce stands for mobile commerce however online sellers are providing mobile apps with which people can place the orders very easily so that is about first component that is app for e-commerce now let us proceed to the second component that is the internet for e-commerce in e-commerce customers can buy the products or services over the internet the internet has shown greater impact on all aspects of human society today millions of users across the access the internet for various purposes like browsing the information searching the information listening to audios or watching the videos and of course selling or buying the products or services so for these purposes millions of users across the globe are accessing the internet but at the same time the global population has been increasing and the internet penetration has also been increasing so one side global population is increasing similarly internet is also made available to all those people which means the internet penetration has also been increasing hence millions of users are actively looking for various products and services on the internet hence there is a huge opportunity for business organizations to jump on to the internet bandwagon and cash in on the business opportunity so business organizations are very uh, crazy very eager to make use of this internet in order to increase uh, their business levels now third component as part of this one is web server in a network one computer is designated as a server it is something like this there are several systems among them one of the systems is designated as a server this web server is a computer that receives requests from several other computers and responds to them accordingly in e-commerce a server receives millions of requests across the globe these requests include product description requests or product images or product review videos or product unboxing videos or prices or order information so in this way wide varieties different varieties of requests may be a uh, pouring in to the server that to from millions of uh, 
people across the globe now let us move on to the next one that is app server so till just now we looked at web server then comes app server and lastly comes a database server so here the app server lies in between web server and a database server that is the reason why app server is considered as a middleware middleware because it lies in between web server and database server so what is a uh, what is an app server these are the servers which lie in between web servers and database servers as they lie in between web servers and database servers they are referred to as middleware and these app servers are designed to install operate and host the applications that is known as apps such apps are generally very complex programs now let us move on to the very last component that is a payment manager while placing the orders customer pay the amounts in different models like uh, debit cards or debit uh, credit cards or uh, online fund transfers in this way people make payments in different ways online payments the payment manager dashboard contains the payment summary and payment overview options further the customers can even track the status of a payment and manage the payments auto payment options etc using payment manager that is whenever we make a purchase we can even choose auto payment options at such times automatically the card information like a credit card number or a debit card number cvv number expiry date card holder name all these details will be submitted automatically by this uh, payment manager so these are all the things that are part of uh, the internet as network infrastructure for e-commerce